Hi, Bill here. Today I'll be reviewing 52 Toys Mega Box Aliens Xenomorph Queen. Here it is here. In the box, looking really cool. Uh, probably too much uh, reflection there. But such in there. You can see the box art. There it is there. Xenomorph Alien Queen with the power loader. Of course. I had to get that, you have to get the power loader, so I've got them both, but I'll do that in a separate review. I'm not doing them two in the one, okay? They'll be short reviews, they're not that long, well, depending how long I can transform it into the box. There it is there, at the back, obviously Asian or Korean or Japanese or Chinese writing. I know I covered them all the bases, Japanese, Chinese, Asian, whatever, writing. There we go, that's it there, there it is there, the back, you've seen all around it, MB10, that's what it is there, if you're looking for it, and that's it there, and there's obviously QR codes and all sorts of stuff, age 15 plus, so it's obviously not for anyone younger than that, I'm stating the obvious, same off Queen and Power Loader. And that's about it. So without oh, uh, what I will do this time that I haven't done the last few videos is I will give the eBay seller at the front of the video. So this is eBay seller, and it's the same one for the power loader you've just seen. So I'll show it again, but it's the same eBay seller. So go and look at his page to find this and the power loader. Okay, right. So that's that. So without further ado, I'll get this out of its plastic and cardboard prison. Right, here it is, out of its uh, plastic and cardboard prison. That's it there. Looking really cool. The head can move. I'll show it up close. I don't know what these are. These things can move as well. It's a very weird. I don't know what these are, that these can come down, which is very weird, but anyway, uh, that's it there, it has, does move, it has got the even inner hands, I don't know if it, that picks up well, because I don't know if I've got the best, it's even, it's got these inner hands that the alien queen has, that you can move, and fold away I just tuck under I think it's got a little bit of flexibility and ball joints so unfortunately there's no fingers it's just that's it it's just a tip thing it just folds away it's got no claw these are the same but that's got uh, these have got a uh, thumb bits oh that's off screen these are got kind of thumb bits that are in ball joints you can fold over like that it's probably meant for transformation purposes into cube but they can fold out and fold over and are in ball joints and the arms in a ball joint on a rotational joint sorry it's in a rotational joint and that's a ball joint, but this one here is very loose in mine. I don't know if you have the same issue. That's not. So it's got a lot of articulation because it obviously it transforms into the cube. So there we go. The head moves down and up. I'll, I'll see what else the head does in a minute. It does have a waist rotation. Yeah, it, I think it does. No, it doesn't. I thought it had a waist rotation. Hmm. I thought I'm swear it had a waist rotation. Ah, it goes up and down like that. I thought it had a waist rotation. It doesn't have a waist rotation. Hmm. Very weird. I thought I thought it did. Hmm. Oh well. How wrong am I? Hmm. So no waist rotation. I mean, hundreds of other rotation uh, uh, articulation, but no waist rotation. But anyway, there we go, leg, and the foot has a kind of 
it's almost like a, a, a woman's <laughs> heel shoe, but well, it is a queen, I guess. So yeah, so there we go, and it's got a very articulated tail. Like there, it articulates very, very much. Have it in any sort of pose, and as a rotational joint there. I don't think the individual bits can rotate, it's just that one bit at the base of it. And of course, it can have it in any sort of position you want. These can go open and close, like that, and they can fold down. These bits can fold down, so can these bits, but again, they're for transformation into its cube. And they can go up. Of course, the bit you want to see is the head. I, th I think it has it down like that. And these can open out. These can open out like that. But the bit you want to see is the head where you just open that and it, and the inner uh, tongue comes out the, with the with the uh, mouth inside it. It's a little mouth inside it. I'll do that again. It's spring loaded. There it is. So it just comes out, you push it in and close the mouth. So yep, it has that. So it's all in all pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. The only thing I don't like is this. It's just too loose. I don't know if that can actually move around. Yeah, it does move around. So there's a lot of articulation you can move. That joint there with the ball joint on it actually moves up independently, so you can move it up and down. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it has an upper arm rotation, but it has a ball joint there. I thought it would have an upper arm rotation, but it doesn't have one. Hmm, oh well. No upper arm rotation, no waist rotation on this. But I guess because it transforms into a cube, you're not going to have some of these things. But I thought it might have had an upper arm rotation. But there we go. It doesn't. So that's that. And there we go. So I'll, I'll put this, stand this down while I... Oh, it just wants to collapse. I don't know what these bits are for. These bits look really nice. Hold on. But they come up and down, but I haven't figured out what they're for. It does form a nice bit like that. Like that. Oh, the whole thing's in a you can turn right around like that. It's in a ball joint. Yeah, but I don't understand what these bits are for. They can move independently. It's almost like a hand, but they do move down and up independently of each other and they do have uh, articulation on them sort of halfway. Well, some of them do. The centre ones I don't think do, but the outer ones can rotate. I, I think it just it rotates there. It doesn't move, it just it's the same bits there. But it's weird, I don't know what that is. It's weird how it's got that bit. But they rotate anyway. That again, transformation purposes. It'll probably do that. But it's weird how it has them, them bits. I'll try to show them in the light. The video is pretty dark. But I don't know what these bits are. Weird. I've never seen that in Alien before. But then it's hidden under the huge bit at the back, so you wouldn't really see it. But it's weird. It's I've never seen that before. But there we go. Right, uh, obviously you get instructions. Failing Queen. That's, that's a really nice, gorgeous shot. I like that. And of course it's long and you get all that. And dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's a lot, of, there's a lot to do. <laughs> it might be a longer video. I thought it would be a short one. Um, you get this card thing. What you're supposed to do uh, with the... Uh, it's a PVC card. Just fold it over. It's a clear bit of plastic. That's it there. Uh, fold it over and you put it in the box. Oh yeah, right. Where is the box? I had it a minute ago. I've lost it. 
Hmm, did have it. No, I can't find it. Uh, where did I put the box? Ah, here it is. Yep, and you get the box. You get the box as well. Get the box, put it in. So, you open it up and you put the card inside against the back and it's supposed to act like a spring. It's not very good because it'll weaken over time. But that's basically what it's showing you in this diagram. You put the PVC card in, you put it against the back and it's supposed to flip, act, act like some kind of weak spring to push the cube back out if it's stiff in there. But I, I think it'll weaken over time. I don't think it's very effective, but that's what you're supposed to do. That's what it's showing in the instructions here. So you want to do it, you can. If you want to use a tool to prise it out of there, if it gets stuck, then that's up to you. But yeah, you get one of these clear uh, boxes to put it in. Okay, so, oh, and you get the instruction, uh, you get the catalogue, you get the catalogue as well. Uh, just show it off. God, I haven't even got to the transformation yet. Obviously, I've got the power loader and the Alien Queen. I haven't, not getting the, the Alien there. I'm getting Predator. That's coming next Friday, according to things. And I haven't got anything else there. That would be cool if it was Rhinox. And that, well, it's actually a hippo. It's not, it's not. No, that there would be cool if it's if it's Rhinox colours, but obviously it doesn't turn into a, a robot. But it'd be cool if you got it in Rhinox colours. That could be Rhinox. Uh, if there were stripes on that, although it's getting wings, that that would be good if it's Tigertron. But again, because it's got wings, it's not really Tigertron. Another side that looks ex take the shine off it. That looks like steel jaw. Now, when, now that would actually pass a steel jaw because steel jaw turns into a cassette, uh, and obviously this one turns into a cube. But it could work as steel jaw. Uh, that one there could be skull cruncher because it could be a uh, cyberverse skull cruncher. We never saw him transform. He just stayed in his gator mode, so or crocodile mode, whatever it is, you know, crocodile or alligator, whatever. But uh, stayed just in that. Uh, you know, his, his, his beast mode so it just stayed in his beast mode, it didn't transform so it, it could pass a skull cruncher, it's the right colour uh, that there is a turtle like that, now if it's pink or kind of purple it could pass a snap trap one of the uh, sea cons, again like with Rhinox it wouldn't have a a robot mode but it could pass as that so that there's a few of these that could pass as transformers but you know with 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 that and i think there's one that's like um uh, there's another one that's exactly like ravage it does have the guns on it, it, it it's obviously most passes ravage so i would go more for that and uh ramhorn ah that's what i was going to say if, if that was a kind of different colour, more colour to that, you could pass it as ram horn. And that's it, and the weapons in the side, it could be ram horn. So you could actually pass these off as some cassette transformers, except they turn into cubes. So it'd be pretty cool having it that way. And there's other, there is one that's like Ravage, it's definitely Ravage colours, and it does have missiles in the side and that, so definitely that. Uh, the crab one, part of the sea coins or whatever. There's one that's a crab or something like that. There's one of the Transformers that turns into a crab. Can't remember its name. But again, it doesn't have a robot mode, but it could pass out passes that if it was that colour. And there's that thing there. But I think that's a spider. I think that's a spider. It looks like a spider to me. But um, there's quite a few there that could pass off as Transformers. But there we go. But obviously some of them don't have robot modes but some of them don't anyway like the cassettes except they, they just turn into sort of information cubes or something like that you could pass them off as so that's pretty cool 
Um, right, back to this. So I'll do a size comparison with a few items. Now, obviously, he's 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 he's, he's uh, crouched. I could extend the legs to full height because you can do that. You can extend the legs to full height if you want to do it because the legs can stand at full height and that would actually do so here's the other ones I got there's Hulk recently and of course off the same mold there's Thanos so he is taller than that standing at full height straightening the legs obviously he was crouched he would probably stand about the same height as him uh, let me get I am here. Right, as a Titan's return, as a Titan's return um, figure, it's remolded off of Broadside as Leo Prime. Here is a Voyager class size figure. That's Voyager class size. If I can get him to stand, so she's uh, not that far off. Voyager, it's not that far off it. Look a bit over there, it's not that far off at Voyager at full height. Just there, just about the chest area. Um, so it's not that far off Voyager, slightly shorter than Voyager, maybe between Deluxe and Voyager at, at full height. You're getting there with Alien Queen, so that's at full height, and that's that. So Without further ado, let's get this thing transformed up, okay? Right, to get this thing transformed into its cube mode, here's what you got to do. We'll start with the legs. Uh, I will start with the legs and do the arms. So, you tuck this bit in, like that, the heel, you tuck that in there. You push that that way. You have it around there like that, you rotate that thing forward and you have it facing in the way. There is tabs, slots on both sides, but you want it facing in the way, okay? And it goes onto that tab there. <coughs> so you just push it onto that. It do that's the only one it does hard tab into. It does actually stay in there pretty well. Okay, so you fold that down, fold that down, and fold that bit down. Okay, that's one side done. Okay, so I hope you saw that. So make sure it's facing in the way. Okay, and there's the other side done. So I know I did it off camera, but. You, do, you see one, you, you get an idea of how the other one works. It's just the same. Okay, so that's them out the road. What you want to do is you raise this up. It's hinged forward. You can raise that up and hinge it back. Move that ball joint there forward. Move that ball joint there forward and hinge that back. And that's ready for, for that part. Because it's going to tab onto there uh, with that slot there it's going to tab on there <coughs> okay the other thing you want to do is you open these up you splay them open like that and it opens move the arms out the road and open these up okay you open that right up you move it forward a bit forward like that and you open them right up like that now that center bit there we're going to focus on in a minute what you want to do is tab them together there's a tab there and these bits tab them together these tab together just like that 
okay I hope that's focused in because this thing light's going out of focus and what you want to do is these there will go into that center bit there okay so you just push it in there like that and it's in there like that that's that's how you want that you just push it in there you don't push it push it as far as it'll go and it'll stay there okay so <clears throat> the other thing you want to do is do the arms the arms are kind of eh, a wee bit fiddly but you get there what you want to do is move that back like this oh if that's out <coughs> you push that away okay i hope, hope that was on the screen if that's out you push that away so it moves up like that that you can just leave up or down or whatever that this is where it gets tricky you move that whole bit round. you move this bit and you move this bit and you want to move them up like this oh hold on you move that bit there and you move that bit there like that what you want to do is you want to move this bit around like this I'll just do the one arm and then the other arm will, will do off camera because you'll see how it's done and you'll know how to do it and you move that up like that now these interlock there's connectors there but if you can see it these actually interlock them bits there they actually interlock so make sure you just connect them two together like that and make sure it's with that raised bit there there's a raised fin type bit there i'll show it in the other arm there's a raised bit um where is it there <coughs> no <coughs> sorry there actually is, is it that bit there is a bit there that's raised there is a bit there that's raised i think i think it's that bit i think it's that bit hold on i think it's that bit it's definitely a bit that's raised anyway that you want to have that in ah it's it's that kind of thin bit You want it sitting up there. <laughs> that kind of race thin bit is. Okay. That, that's what you want. So you want it with that bit there. And the two halves. Going over that. That bit there. Okay. So that's how you want it. So. That's how you want it. You want it back like that. And you want it like that. So what you want to do <coughs> is there's these bits, you move them up, I think, and you move them up, and they actually splay open. They actually splay open like that. Okay, I hope that was all on screen. It should be. No one opened so far. Now there's a cutout there. I don't know if you can see it. This thing, let's get the focus. There's a cut out there, and there's a bit there under the arm. I'll probably not, you'll probably not be able to see it now. <coughs> there, there's a bit there that hooks over that tab there, so it, it just hooks over it. So you can move everything around there, and it'll hook over it. And it hooks onto that again it's soft tabs it might come loose it just hooks over it like that okay that's how you want this <coughs> that's how you want this you want that on the inside because it's going to hook on to them bits there it's going to hook onto them bits there that uh, tab there 
you can hook onto them later on. So you do the same same for the other side. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you should end up with something like this. With the tabs facing in the way like that. So you should have that. Uh, it should be something along the lines of that. Okay. The arms in that configuration. These tabs facing uh, inwards. Because it's going to hook onto them bits there. Afterwards. Right. What you want to do is focus on the head. You want to lift them bits up. And push them in. Lift these bits up. If it isn't already. Push them in. Like that. They don't tab into them. They just push in these wee bits in. <clears throat> and of course, if you've got them, you push them in. Like that. Okay, right. Bring the head down. There's a tab there that's supposed to go into that slot there I showed earlier. Supposed to. Supposed to. Uh, it's a bit tricky to get it into position to hook on to that, but it, it should, it is supposed to hook on. Uh, it's this ball joint bit, it's, you have, you've got to have the ball joint bit for, forward. And then it'll line up. So you have it like that, whoops. And you have the whole thing compressed. Now, now you do compress the body. The body is extended so you compress it as well. It's got to be compressed to, for the oven to be all cubey and together. So, <clears throat> we're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly, we're get, but we're getting there. Now, the bits wouldn't start coming out everywhere. Right. So that's that. So what you want to do, and it's like that, is move that whole thing up there like this. You want to move the whole section up. I'm only going to do one side and move the other off camera. So you want to move that whole thing up like that. Move it in like this. Ah, there's a tab there. There's a tab there, I don't know if you saw that, there's a tab there that will automatically go into a slot, okay. There's a tab there that will automatically go into a slot when you move it up. It'll, it'll just automatically go in, because if everything lines up, it should just automatically go in. And what you want to do is a tab up there as well that will slot in, and that slots that side in. I might just do this side to, to let you see it again. So you're doing that. You're raising that up. The whole, uh, whole folded up leg section. You're putting it in there at an angle. That should tab in at the front. And there's a tab up there. I don't know if you can see it. A tab up there. And there's a slot there. There's a tab there. So just line it up try and get it lined up and it'll move into position and that is that see it's coming together as a cube and just push them together right we're, we're nearly there we're nearly there so what you want to do with this is rotate it around like this there's a slot there if you can see it in the hand in the palm of the hand you see the slot, see the hole in the palm of the hand there? There's a big tab there. Well, actually, before that, you want to try and line this up best you can. Because it, it's supposed to slot into that. Actually, the slot is behind the hand, sorry. The slot is behind the hand. See where the hole is behind it? Uh, going that way, right, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, right, see that hole there, and just behind it, there's a slot there, 
that's where that tabs into. I'm apologise, I got the wrong bit. So it tabs in there, and you've also got to tab it into that bit there as well. With this, um, but it goes into it tabs in as well. So get everything tabbed in. I'll just do this side quick, and you're left with something that's supposed to resemble this. There we go. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, folding this up, this is tricky. It's really tricky. Well, it's not tricky. It's just the way, there's a certain way you have to fold it up. So you, you fold it like that. Right. You fold it like that. You move it over. You fold it like that. You fold it like that. You fold it like that. No, you don't. Hmm. Because this needs to go down into there. Aye, you fold it that way. And this bit, the tip of it, falls down inside it. Okay. We'll just show that it folds down inside it. So you want something like that. So you're ending up with something like that. You've got to try and push it down a bit if you can. Because it needs to go down. But you want to end up with something like that. Like that if you can. Then it just goes up in there. It's supposed to tab in. There's clips at the back and there's tabs in there. It's but it's soft tabs, it doesn't stay in there very tight. Okay, so you get clips there and you get tabs there, but it's soft tabs, it doesn't stay on there but very tight. But I mean when, when it goes to cube mode and everyone's around it, it'll it should stay. It should stay in position. So you shouldn't have any bother with it. And the final bit. There's a bit there, there's a tab there, there's a slot there, sorry, and it'll tab onto one of these, okay? I'll just show that, there's a slot there, and it'll tab onto one of these spine bits, the top one, obviously. <coughs> so, you just fold it down, and it should tab in. There we go. I mean, that's basically you, given tab done. Although, bits want to come loose. And there is the alien in his cube mode. Yeah, there's, there is a little bit here that's supposed to tab in somewhere, but it doesn't always line up. It doesn't always line up. If it like, if you get it to line up, you're a better man than me, or person than me. But um, it doesn't always line up. But it's basically that, and that's him in his cube mode or cuboid mode. There we go. That's it in the cube mode. A little bit fiddly to get into. I must admit. Uh, box wise, right, we'll, we'll get the box open. <clears throat> Whether this actually works or not, I don't know. I don't I don't want to put it all the way in because it might be tricky. But it is supposed to fit in there. So it's supposed to fit in there. And I'm not going to put it all the way in because getting it back out could be a, could be bothersome. Uh, it might be tricky because it's really stiff. Uh, it's, it's stiffening up there, so I'm not going to take put it all the way in, but it does fit. And there you go. You put it in the box. It'll work. And that's that. Okay. Some still no went out of it. It's not sitting flush, but anyway. That's basically what you're supposed to do with that.
uh, in a minute. So that has been uh, 52 Toys, Mega Box, Aliens, Xenomorph, Alien Queen. Okay, so obviously you saw at the start of the video, I've got the power loader, which we'll do next, and I'll put them two together and put them in box mode together. I could have done the Hulk and Thanos in box mode, but I, uh, I'll do the power loader and the Alien Queen in box mode together. Okay, so that's that. So look out for the video next. Uh, more 52 Toys stuff coming, hopefully later in the week. At the end of the week, maybe uh, I've got the uh, Hallmark Nautilus coming that lights up. So I've got that. That's the ones I know about that are coming very soon. This week, maybe. So look out for that. And that's it for just now. Okay. Right. Bye for now. Look out for my next video. Bye for now.